Hands wide, hands wide, sit back. OK, steady. That's Chief Instructor of the Defence Academy Saddle Club, Claire Chamberlain, putting the majors and horses through their paces. She described the Royal Windsor Services show jumping competition. They will be jumping between 9 to 11 fences of a metre 5, so that's 1 metre 5 centimetres. And they will be jumping in the castle arena, so that's the main ring at Windsor, which makes it very exciting. They have about 50 teams, and the first of each team jumps, then the second, and then the third of each team. And then from those, the top 12 teams go through to a second round in the afternoon. But prior to that, which is partly what the boys subscribe to, is a parade in front of Her Majesty. And regardless of their performance, they get to meet Her Majesty, shake her hand and receive a rosette from her. This is quite a big challenge for them. Uh, well, these particular individuals, and it's been a bit of a fairy tale um, for these, these three, it's a very, very big challenge. They are on a nine-month course at Shrivenham that started in January. And two of them came down to learn to ride, never having sat on a horse at all, ever before. And um, we dubbed them Zero to Heroes when they decided to go hunting for the first time uh, six weeks after they'd learned to ride. But they have definitely upped the ante considerably by going to Windsor. The officers are riding saddle club horses and will be competing against teams from all three services and the police. Major Dominic Davy serves with the Royal Dragoon Guards and told me his strategy for the event. Ignorance is bliss. I don't really know what I'm doing. I generally point the horse in the direction of the jumps and um, the horse broadly does the rest. I'll be riding Gordon, who is a wonderful ginger horse uh, who also gets sunburnt, so we are a right pair. He used to be a hunter with the Beaufort and he was a show jumper in his, in his youth, so uh, I think he's enjoying getting back into, uh, into a little bit of show jumping as well and it certainly saved me on a number of occasions. Major Toby Ryder is a Royal Engineer and though he rode as a child, he's rarely been on horseback for 12 years. As well as concentrating on the turnout of the horses, Toby explained that the team's riding kit must also be spotless. I'm uh, much against my religion, having to borrow some trousers from the Royal Artillery. Um, and, uh, but otherwise, we're wearing our, what we call our number one dress, so our blues um, uniform, and uh, having to make sort of normal riding boots look like they're part of the military uniform, so lots of elbow grease. But, uh, yeah, I think we can probably pull it out of the bag and look reasonably professional in our uniform. On many mornings, the majors have been at the saddle club from six o'clock so they can ride before lectures and occasionally they've been back on their horses for evening training sessions too. Jim, the third member of the team, described some of the ups and downs of learning to ride. There's a lot of um, man-to-horse bonding, um, which has happened over the course of the past few months, most notably the times where we've fallen off and then had to sort of get back on the horse in the very literal sense. And But I think if you're, if you're not falling, you're not learning. I think the hardest thing has actually been being a, an adult but a complete beginner at the same time. And it takes quite a lot of patience and trying not to get frustrated to take the lessons from Claire. This has definitely been tremendous fun. The three of us have had a fantastic time and, um, and we go into Royal Windsor determined to enjoy ourselves first and foremost and we'll, we'll see how we get on but we'll give it our best shot as a team and see where we get to. Mikhail Roach for BFBS at the Defence Academy in Shrivenham.